We have a couple other fights to get ready for as we um, have another good weekend here in boxing. First, it is Mungia. As he steps back into uh, the, the ring this weekend, it is a fight on ESPN. And I'm, I'm interested in this one. I think that the main story coming out of this is that Canelo fight was the first loss for Jaime Munguia in his career. He is 27 years old, um, and he is, I think, a, a pretty exciting fighter. Um, but now, he has tasted defeat for the first time. How do you handle that? And not only has he tasted defeat, but I, I think there might have been, I don't want to say humbling, but... That could have been a humbling experience because I said coming out of that, I think Munguia, the way he fought, especially in the early, early rounds, but the way he fought, he would have beat anyone else in the world that night. He just happened to be facing Canelo Alvarez. That can go one of two ways. That can give you the confidence of, okay, I, I know I can hang with the best. So off we go into being the best. Or that can fuck you up and be like, man, I couldn't have done anything better and I still lost. What? What do I do? How do I do? What's, what, what do I do? Um, and so now, as he gets ready for this fight against um, Eric Bazinian, uh, which again, Bazinian, I apologize, I'm butchering that. I know I am. Um, what what Munguia shows up? It, do, does he now take this Canelo experience and turn himself into the best version of Jaime Munguia that has ever existed? Or is that a debilitating loss and he kind of just fades off into the night? So it's a very intriguing fight coming up on Saturday. What did he learn? Do we see a more mature Munguia? I still think that he needs to stick to his game and be a bit more of that pressure fighter, but we will see.